Hey guys, want to win some money? Bet US Sportsbook, the best online sports book there is. Click the link and put the promo code YSM2022 and you'll get a 125% deposit match. That's YSM2022. See you there. All right, Greg. Yeah. All right. You got guys with tools, right? Yeah. Speed, power, um, explosiveness. But I, oftentimes I see not the most talented guy mm. make it, and a talented guy falls short. Yeah. Like, what factor are we missing as fans that, you know, coaches understand that we may not? So, in history, we, we have seen some great fighters, and we say what happened to them. Um, let's say like, let's say uh, Toro Gotti. Let's say uh, what's my man, the Colombian man, killed himself in the jail cell after he killed his wife. 130 pounder. Um, Valero. Oh, uh, Edward, Edward Valero. Valero. It's a lot. There's a lot that people go through, right? Now think about fighting for your money, fighting for your life. Mm. That's your lifestyle, fighting. Mentally, a lot of people mentally can't handle boxing because it's not just get ready for a fight and fight. It becomes a business. It becomes entertainment. There's a lot of people that can't handle it. Let's look at let's look at Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner is a great fighter, but mentally he can't keep it together because it's a lot coming at you. The best thing for a fighter to do is stay humble and, and, and stay down, right? But it's hard to do that when you got people calling you 24-7. You got people hitting you up. Now that you got social media, you can connect with people all over the world, right? And you got people in your face all day. It's hard to stay humble. It's, it's, it's hard to stay down and, and remember the small people. When you're sitting across from millionaires and shit like that, you, you start wanting to be like them. You start, to, you start to think that you're one of them. But mentally, psychologically, you can't handle it. You know what I mean? That happens a lot. People don't understand it. That's why you got guys like Andre Ward who stay out of it, stay, stay away from that type of shit. For a long time, he didn't do a whole bunch of interviews and stuff like that. He did interviews, but he didn't, get, he didn't get overwhelming with it. You know what I mean? He didn't put too much time doing that. He studied his craft. So with boxing, there's guys who are talented, but they'll never make it simply because the mentality, they can't, the, the mental can't handle it. You know what I mean? No matter what we think. You know what I mean? All right, so give me some insight, right? You're sparring three times a week. You got to prepare for another man to try to take your head off. Yeah. You, you might you might have a baby mom. You got kids. Like, what's that like? Oh, and you cut weight, so you're not eating right. All right, so imagine, I'm going to give you a little bit of my story. Imagine being 21 years old, didn't finish high school, didn't finish high school, had my first son at 20, and you try and get a job, but at the same time, you got this just this thing that you're good at. But at the same time, it got bad habits. I've been smoking weed since I was 15, drinking since I was probably 21, 20, around that time I had my first drink. Um, not really, I had I had my had a drink earlier, but I didn't start drinking until I was like 20, 21. Um, I've been having sex since I was 15. Um, and then think about all the things you just want to do in life. The last thing you want to do is push all those things away and just be a fighter. It seems boring, mm -hmm. especially in a city like Philadelphia. Bring them down something. Bring them down. Especially in a city like Philadelphia, it's a lot going on. It's hard to stay focused. When you when, when you don't have that discipline as a kid, it's hard to give that to a grown man. I see a lot of judging online where people say, oh, he should, all he got to do is this. How can you say that? You never did it. You know what I'm saying? And it's not that easy. Um, and there's people who do get through school and do get through their profession. Shit, meanwhile, getting high at night. Shit, getting high during the experience. You just may never know. Yeah. One thing that frustrates me is they when they see a guy that's doing anything fun. Oh, why you not in the gym? You shouldn't be doing like it's like, bro, I'm a human being. He a human being. So and, and this ain't even in camp. This hot in camp. Right. But they just expect you your whole life to be go home in the gym. Right. right. So so people don't. You don't understand, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's rough, man. Then you then you constantly being judged. You're constantly being judged. You have a bad day in the gym in Philly, 
everybody in the city gonna hear about it within two days. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a prospect. Especially if you're a champion. Somebody kicked your ass and there was enough people on there, you know, to report about it that was there watching it. Everybody in the city gonna know within two days. That's just how it is. So this shit is stressful. Nobody don't get it. They think it's fun just because we make it look fun. No, this shit not fun, bro. Somebody trying to kill you. At the same time, you trying to kill them. You know what I'm saying? This shit not easy. And, and people need to stop. You know, making it sound like that or making it look like this. It's not, bro. It's, it's a rough lifestyle. Imagine being an ugly guy in school all year and you couldn't get the girl you wanted. And then now that you champ, all the girls coming at you because they want something. Imagine being that guy. You know what I mean? I didn't have, I didn't have those issues, but imagine being that guy. You know what I'm saying? So people just, they just make shit sound so easy, you know what I'm saying, when they judge it. But, you know what I mean, it's rough being a fighter. And they should let off the fighters, lay off the fighters a little bit, only because they don't understand. You know what I mean? Is this sport any? Is this sport anything like any other sport? You know what I'm talking about? I'm singling out boxing and MMA. Can can you compare it to anything? You know why you can't compare basketball? Because you got teammates. Mm. All right, dog, you had a bad night. Damn, we're gonna go in the lab together. We're gonna work on that. Football, you got teammates. Yo, pick it up. Come on, do this. When you in there rumbling, it's just you. Your trainer can say whatever he want. And your trainer is probably the closest person to you as far as the feeling that feeling because he's experienced, experiencing the whole training camp with you. He's experiencing the fight with you. But nobody feels what you feel when you in there. When a the guy take a shot, nobody. How you going to tell a guy what they should do to recover? You don't know what the fuck he's going through. I've been hit with a shot before so hard. My ears, I couldn't hear it for 30 seconds. You know what I mean? Nobody know what that feel like, and you gotta still fight through that. You know what I mean? So it's, it's no sport like MMA and like boxing. You know what I'm saying? But people try to make it something normal. It's not normal. It's not normal to want to fight every day, to want to train to fight every day, to push your body to the complete limit where you losing 30 pounds in a camp and getting ready for a fight. It's, it's, it's nothing like that. It's nothing like that. Thoughts on fans criticizing certain fighters for retiring? And you got fans that feel like that Andre Ward yeah. retired to avoid better be than be vol. But how about this? How about Andre Ward got a family? How about Andre Ward? Ward has been being great since he was 12 years old. 12 years old. He hasn't lost a fight since he was 12 years old. And guess what? He got kids and a wife. How about he want to experience that? He want to be a father. How about that? Mm. That's, as, that's as clear as I can make it. How can you judge a man for wanting to take care of his family and experience his wife? You know, day by day and, and day in and day out, 24-7. How can you get mad at him? How about he want to watch his kids grow up? Mm -hmm. He don't want to miss a moment. You know how many moments he missed being in camp? Kids start walking, he wasn't there. Kids start talking, he wasn't there. Kid had a stomach ache, he wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? Because he had to be in camp and get ready for a fight. So the people that talk like that, you know what I mean? Choke on some hot water hey, or something. I'm going to be a hood dude for, for a second. Yeah. Maybe, just maybe, he don't want to go without cakes for eight weeks. I want to go without cakes. <laughs> Everybody like cakes. Yeah. I mean, it's females that like cakes. So why wouldn't a man want to go get some cakes? It's fucked up, but... Maybe he wants to eat what he, whatever he wants to eat. Exactly. He's a fat fella. He might be a fat fella at heart. A lot of fighters you see blow up. That's, the, all the, that's because all the times he couldn't eat what he wanted. You know what I'm saying? So people, like, I get, again, it's easy to judge people. People love to judge. That's, that's the easiest thing to do is to say some shit out your mouth that don't make sense because it just sounds cool. That's what people do. That's why I like punching people in the mouth. I don't like just checking them. I like socking them. You know what I mean? My mom used to be like, why do you think you could just punch everybody in the mouth? That's what some people deserve. You thought it was okay to say that to me. I think it's okay to sock you. I bet you would change your mind, though. I bet you stop saying whatever the fuck you want. Can somebody tell somebody else when they've had enough no right here i got a hard working woman in front of me right she's the hardest working woman in philly right <laughs> i can't tell her to stop doing what she's doing i don't know what, what kind of support system she got i don't know who she supports. so how can i tell her yo stop getting out here hustling so hard so you could be in the gym you can't do that you understand so it's just that simple how why it, are there days where as a fighter you just like yo I don't want to do this no more. I just want to do something these else. These days, I want to call all these dudes right now on the phone and tell them, yo, I ain't training no more. You know why? Because I miss out on my son's life. I got two sons. One of them getting ready to go to high school. One play football. One trying to find his way. He trying to find something he like. 
It's days I just want to chill with them. But guess what? I be with my dogs all day. That's why I cuss their ass out when they, when they start acting up. I cuss them out because I'm spending more time with them than I am my own kids. It's days I want to quit. But guess what? I love boxing. Boxing saved my life, literally. Because a lot of my friends was out in the street getting shot up, getting locked up. And guess where I was at? In the gym. I mean, so you can't tell a man when he had enough. You should. Regular sit up. Turn around this way. Lock your feet under there. We'll be regular sit up. No, no, we're going the opposite way. And lock your feet under the strap. Yup. Yeah. Amen.